a bell is a simple sound-making device. The bell is a percussion instrument and an idiophone. Its form is usually a hollow, cup-shaped acoustic resonator, which vibrates upon being struck. The striking implement can be a tongue suspended within the bell, known as a clapper, a separate mallet or hammer, or a euro and small bells a euro a small loose sphere enclosed within the body of the bell. Bells are usually made of cast metal, but small bells can also be made from ceramic or glass. Bells range in size from tiny dress accessories to church bells 5 meters tall, weighing many tons. Historically, bells were associated with religious rituals, and before mass communication were widely used to call communities together for both religious and secular events. Later bells were made to commemorate important events or people and have been associated with the concepts of peace and freedom. The study of bells is called campanology. A set of bells, hung in a circle for change ringing, is known as a ring of bells or peal of bells. A set 23 of bells spanning at least two octaves is a carillon. History The earliest archaeological evidence of bells dates from 3rd millennium BC, and is traced to the Yangshao culture of Neolithic China. Clapper bells made of pottery have been found in several archaeological sites. The pottery bells later developed into metal bells. In West Asia, the first bells appear in 1000 BC. The earliest metal bells, with one found in the Taosi site, and four in the Erlitoi site, are dated to about 2000 BC. Early bells not only have an important role in generating metal sound, but arguably played a prominent cultural role. With the emergence of other kinds of bells during the Shang dynasty, they were relegated to subservient functions. At Chang and Zhou sites, they are also found as part of the horse and chariot gear and as collar bells of dogs. See also Clang Bell of the British Museum Collection. Ringing, in the Western world, the classical form of bell is a church bell or town bell, which is hung within a tower. There is often a clapper inside these bells. If the bell is immobile it is sounded by pulling the inside clapper or by a hammer on the outside. If the bell is hung in such a way that the entire bell can be swung freely by pulling on a rope then they can be sounded by swinging the bell back and forth against the non-moving clapper or by swinging the bell against the clapper and moving both through an arc, then pulling the bell rope so as to stop the bell and begin moving it in the opposite direction to be struck by the clapper still moving in the original direction due to its inertia. Occasionally the clappers have leather pads strapped around them to quieten the bells when practice ringing to avoid annoying the neighborhood. Also at funerals, half muffles are often used to give a full open sound on one round, and a muffled sound on the alternate round a euro a distinctive, mournful effect. Church and Temple Bells In the Eastern world, the traditional forms of bells are temple and palace bells, small ones being rung by a sharp rap with a stick, and very large ones rung by a blow from the outside by a large swinging beam. The striking technique is employed worldwide for some of the largest tower-borne bells, because swinging the bells themselves could damage their towers. In the Roman Catholic Church and among some high Lutherans and Anglicans, small handheld bells, called sanctus or sacring bells, are often rung by a server at mass when the priest holds high up first the host, and then the chalice immediately after he has said the words of consecration over them. This serves to indicate to the congregation that the bread and wine have just been transformed into the body and blood of Christ, or, in the alternative Reformation teaching, that Christ is now bodily present in the elements, and that what the priest is holding up for them to look at is Christ himself. In the Russian Orthodox bell ringing the entire bell is never moving only the clapper. A special complex system of ropes is developed and used individually for every bell tower. Some ropes are played by hand, the bigger ropes are played by foot. Bells in Japanese religion, Japanese Shintoist and Buddhist bells are used in religious ceremonies. Suzu, a homophone meaning both cool, and refreshing, are spherical bells which contain metal pellets that produce sound from the inside. The hemispherical bell is the cane bell, which is struck on the outside. Large suspended temple bells are known as boncha, bells in Buddhism and Hinduism, Hindu and Buddhist bells, called ganta in Sanskrit, are used in religious ceremonies. See also singing bowls. A bell hangs at the gate of many Hindu temples, which is rung at the moment one enters the temple. Bell making. 
the process of casting bells is called bell founding or bell making, and in Europe dates to the 4th or 5th century. The traditional metal for these bells is a bronze of about 23% tin. Known as bell metal, this alloy is also the traditional alloy for the finest Turkish and Chinese symbols. Other materials sometimes used for large bells include brass and iron. Steel was tried during the busy church building period of mid 19th century England, for its economy over bronze, but was found not to be durable and manufacture ceased in the 1870s. Casting Small bells were originally made with a lost wax process, but large bells are cast mouth down in a two-part mold clamped to a base plate. The core is built on the base plate using porous materials such as coke or brick and then covered in loam well mixed with straw and horse manure. This is given a profile corresponding to the inside shape of the finished bell, and dried with gentle heat. Graphite and whiting are applied to form the final, smooth surface. The outside of the mold is made within a perforated cast iron case, larger than the finished bell, containing the loam mixture which is shaped, dried and smoothed in the same way as the core. The case is inverted, lowered over the core and clamped to the base plate. The clamped mold is supported, usually by being buried in a casting pit to bear the weight of metal and to allow even cooling. In earlier times, before road transport of large bells was possible, a pit may have been dug in the grounds of the building where the bell was to be installed. Molten bell metal is poured into the mold through a box lined with foundry sand. Tuning Bells are made to exact formulas, so that given the diameter it is possible to calculate every dimension, and its musical note, or tone. The frequency of a bell's note varies with the square of its thickness, and inversely with its diameter. Much experimentation has been devoted to determining the exact shape that will give the best tone. The thickness of a church bell at its thickest part, called the sound bow, is usually one thirteenth its diameter. If the bell is mounted as cast, it is called a maiden bell. Tuned bells are worked after casting to produce a precise note. The elements of the sound of a bell are split up into hum, second partial, tiers, quintonominal naming note. The bell's strongest overtones are tuned to be at octave intervals below the nominal note but other notes also need to be brought into their proper relationship. Bells are usually tuned via tuning forks and electronic stroboscopic tuning devices commonly called a strobe tuner. Bell towers, bells are also associated with clocks, indicating the hour by ringing. Indeed, the word clock comes from the Latin word cloca, meaning bell. Clock towers or bell towers can be heard over long distances which was especially important in the time when clocks were too expensive for widespread use. In many languages the same word can mean both clock, and bell. In the case of clock towers and grandfather clocks, a particular sequence of tones may be played to represent the hour, half hour, quarter hour, or other intervals. One common pattern is called the Westminster Quarters a 16-note pattern named after the Palace of Westminster which popularized it as the measure used by Big Ben. Notable Bells The Great Bell of Tomazidi may have been the largest bell ever made. It was lost in a river in Burma after being removed from a temple by the Portuguese in 1608. It is reported to have weighed about 300 tons. The Tsar Bell by the Motorin Bell founders is the largest bell still in existence. It weighs 160 tons, but it was never rung and broke in 1737. It is on display in Moscow, Russia, inside the Kremlin. The Great Mingun Bell is the largest functioning bell. It is located in Mingun, Burma, and weighs 90 tons. The Gotenba Bell is the largest functioning swinging bell, weighing 79,900 pounds. It is located in a tourist resort in Gotenba, Japan hung in a freestanding frame, and rung by hand. Cast by Ace Butts in 2006. The World Peace Bell was the largest functioning swinging bell until 2006. It is located in Newport, Kentucky, United States, cast by Packard Foundry of France. The bell itself weighs 66,000 pounds while with clapper and supports the total weight which swings when the bell is told is 89,390 pounds. The Bell of King Songdiak is the largest extant bell in Korea. The full Korean name means Sacred Bell of King Songdiak the Great. 
it was also known as the Bell of Bondiexa Temple, where it was first housed. The bell weighs about 25 tons and was originally cast in 771 CE. It is now stored in the National Museum of Gyeongju. Pomeran in Vienna's Stefanstum is the most famous bell in Austria and the fifth largest in the world. The St. Peter's Glock, in the local dialect of Cologne also called Dick Pitta, is a bell in Germany's Cologne Cathedral. It weighs 24 tons and was cast in 1922. It is the largest functioning free swinging bell in the world that swings around the top. Maria Dolans, the bell for the fallen in Rover 2 weighs 22.6 tons. The southwest tower of St. Paul's Cathedral in London, England, houses Great Paul, the largest bell at 16.5 tons in the British Isles. One can hear Great Paul booming out over Ludgate Hill at 1300 every day. Big Ben is the fourth largest bell in the British Isles. After the Olympic Bell, Great Paul and Great George. It is the hour bell of the Great Clock in the Clock Tower at the Palace of Westminster, the home of the Houses of Parliament in the United Kingdom. The Dom Tower in the city of Utrecht, the Netherlands, houses the second largest free swinging bell of Europe, the Salvator, weighing 8.2 tons, cast in 1505 by Jart van Woo. Great Tom is the bell that hangs in Tom Tower of Christ Church, Oxford. It was cast in 1680 and weighs over 6 tons. Great Tom is still rung 101 times at 2105 every night to signify the 101 original scholars of the college. The Liberty Bell is a 2080 pounds American bell of great historic significance, located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It previously hung in Independence Hall and was rung on July 4, 1776 to mark American independence. Little John Named after the character from the Legends of Robin Hood is the bell within the clock tower of Nottingham Council House. It was the deepest toned clock bell in the United Kingdom until Great Peter of York Minster was incorporated into a new clock chime to celebrate the Queen Mother's centenary. Great Peter is deeper than Little John by only a few hertz. The sound of Little John is said to be heard over the greatest distance of any bell in the UK, occasionally on quiet days being heard in Derby. Sigismund is a bell in the Wall Cathedral in Krakow W, Poland, cast in 1520. It is rung only on very significant national occasions. The Maria Gloriosa in Erfurt, cast by Jart van Woo, is considered to be one of Germany's, and also Europe's, most beautiful medieval bells, serving as a model for many other bells. The Lutin Bell, named after HMS Lutin, weighs 106 pounds and bears the inscription St. Jean a Euro 1779. It rests in Lloyd's of London under writing room where it used to be struck when news of an overdue ship arrived a Euro once for the loss of a ship, and twice for her return. Usage as musical instruments Some bells are used as musical instruments, such as carillons, chimes, or ensembles of bell players, called bell choirs, using handheld bells of varying tones. A ring of bells is a set of four to twelve bells or more used in change ringing, a particular method of ringing bells in patterns. A peal and changing ringing may have bells playing for several hours, playing five thousand or more patterns without a break or repetition. They have also been used in many kinds of popular music, such as in ACDC's Hell's Bells. Ancient Chinese Bells the ancient Chinese bronze chime bells called Bian's Hong or Tsung slash Zeng were used as polyphonic musical instruments and some have been dated at between 2000 to 3600 years old. Tune bells have been created and used for musical performance in many cultures but Tsung are unique among all other types of cast bells in several respects and they rank among the highest achievements of Chinese bronze casting technology. However, the remarkable secret of their design and the method of casting a euro known only to the Chinese in antiquity a euro was lost in later generations and was not fully rediscovered and understood until the 20th century. In 1978 a complete ceremonial set of 65 tsung bells was found in a near-perfect state of preservation during the excavation of the tomb of Marquis Yi, ruler of Zheng, one of the warring states. Their special shape gives them the ability to produce two different musical tones, depending on where they are struck. The interval between these notes on each bell is either a major or minor third, equivalent to a distance of four or five notes on a piano. 
the bells of Marquee Euro, Euro, which were still fully playable after almost 2,500 years a Euro cover a range of slightly less than five octaves but thanks to their dual tone capability, the set can sound a complete 12-tone scale a Euro predating the development of the European 12-tone system by some 2,000 years a Euro, and can play melodies in diatonic and pentatonic scales. Another related ancient Chinese musical instrument is called Qing but it was made of stone instead of metal. In more recent times, the top of bells in China was usually decorated with a small dragon, known as Pilo. A figure of the dragon served as a hook for hanging the bell. Konguro, Konguro is a small bell which, like the Jilaljine, was first used for utilitarian purposes and only later for artistic ones. Konguro rang when moving to new places. They were fastened to the horse harnesses and created a very specific smart sound background. Kongaro also hung on the neck of the leader goat, which the sheep herd followed. This led to the association in folk memory between the distinctive sound of Kongaro and the nomadic way of life. To make this instrument, Kaijai's foreman used copper, bronze, iron and brass. They also decorated it with artistic carving and covered it with silver. Sizes of the instruments might vary within certain limits, what depended on its function. Every bell had its own timbre. Chimes, a variant on the bell is the tubular bell. Several of these metal tubes which are struck manually with hammers, form an instrument named tubular bells or chimes. In the case of wind or aeolian chimes, the tubes are blown against one another by the wind. Lithuanian scribali, the scribali is a traditional folk instrument in Lithuania which consists of wooden bells of various sizes hanging in several vertical rows with one or two wooden or metal small clappers hanging inside them. It is played with two wooden sticks. When the scribali is moved a clap and knocks at the wall of the trough. The pitch of the sound depends on the size of the wooden trough. The instrument developed from wooden cow bells that shepherds would tie to cows' necks. Farm bells Whereas the church and temple bells called to mass or religious service, bells were used on farms for more secular signaling. The greater farms in Scandinavia usually had a small bell tower resting on the top of the barn. The bell was used to call the workers from the field at the end of the day's work. In folk tradition, it is recorded that each church and possibly several farms had their specific rhymes connected to the sound of the specific bells. An example is the Pete Seeger and Idris Davies song The Bells of Rimney. Dead Bell, in Scotland up until the 19th century it was the tradition to ring a dead bell, a form of hand bell, at the death of an individual and at the funeral. Bell organizations, the following organizations promote the study, music, collection and or preservation and restoration of bells. Nation, S, covered are given in parentheses. The American Bell Association International, Association Campano Wallone ASBL, Association Chouinatory de Campina Sistema Veronese, the Australian and New Zealand Association of Bell Ringers, Baritun Sorchas Far One Quarter Ardas Deutsche Glockenwesen, British Carolan Society, the Central Council of Church Bell Ringers, Hand Bell Musicians of America, Hand Bell Ringers of Great Britain, Socia copyright tar copyright from a section as de campanology, verban deutsche glocken jayar v. World Carolin Federation, Gallery. See also The American Bell Association International, Bell Hop, Electronic Tuners, Used to Tune Bells, Glockenspiel, Hand Bell, John Taylor Bell Founders, Ships Bell, Veronese Bell Ringing Art, Whitechapel Bell Foundry, Notes. References Marlam, Willis I's Vista Time and Timekeepers, including the history, construction, care, and accuracy of clocks and watches. New York, Macmillan. OCLC 23,271,006, Murdoch, James 0 415 15416 2 and LR equals and client equals Firefox A History of Japan. London, Paul, Trek, Trubner. Reissued by Routledge, London, 1996. 10 ISBN 0-415-15416-2. 13 ISBN 978-0-415-15416-1, Paul, Trek, Trubner. 
Ponsonby Fane, Richard A. B. Kyoto, The Old Capital of Japan, 794 Euro 1869. Kyoto, The Ponsonby Memorial Society. Titsing, Isaac, Sin Siren Cio Hayashigaha. Nippon Odo Itsi Ran. U, Annals des Imperiers du Japon. Paris, Oriental Translation Fund of Great Britain and Ireland, HTTP, www.taubels or Great Bells HTML, further reading, Willis, Stephen Charles. Bells Through the Ages, from the Percival Price Collection equals Les Cloches à Travers les Siarques, Provenant du Fonds Percival Price. Ottawa, National Library of Canada, 1986. 34 p. Kell with B and W photos. NB prepared on the occasion of an exhibition of the same title, based on the collection of Bell and Carolyn related material and documentation, of former Dominion Carillonur, Percival Price, held at the National Library of Canada, May 12 to September 14, 1986. Some copies come with the guide to the tape dubbings of the recordings played as background music to the displays, as technically prepared by Gillis St. Laurent and listed by Stephen Charles Willis, both of the library's music division. English and French texts respectively divided into upper and lower portions of each page. ISBN 0-662-54295-9 External links, Bells at DMOZ Bell Recordings of the Basque Country, Bells in Araga Cuben, A Traditional Means of Communication Thesis, H. Ohawari. Bell. In Baines, T.S. Encyclopedia Britannica 3A.